Welcome to 99 Grid. My name is Andy and it is our vision here to inspire you to chase your dreams and turn those dreams into tangible design careers through learning new design skills and being accountable in that pursuit. I wanted to cover one other thing when it comes to customer research. We're doing this series of vlogs on customer research and this element that I would like to cover today is pretty exciting and that's about a research scenario. This really looks and sounds uh, like something from outer space. It's really something complicated, right? Well, to me, it really isn't. When it comes to a research scenario, it's basically a list of questions that you need to ask to your respondent. And it sounds pretty, well, pretty, pretty simple to put together, right? Well, it's just a list of questions. So let's ask uh, any human being about a specific, you know, service, what do they think, etc. But they're actually very uh, there's a, actually a way to put these together and I wanted to talk about that today. So when it comes to building research scenarios, it's a list of questions that we should be asking our respondents and that's regardless if you're using a, an online questionnaire to actually, to actually ask your questions or are you using an in-depth interview like a qualitative methods uh, of research to actually sit down with someone and have a, a good in-depth conversation about a specific subject that you're trying to validate your assumptions against. And there is a specific way that I put these together. The way that I do it uh, with the team, there's the first uh, assumption that I'm trying to put in everybody's heads and that's not asking uh, closed questions. I want to keep those questions open so that um, for my in-depth interviews, when I'm trying to get to the bottom of the issue at hand and validate what the person is saying really on a very tangible level, I'm trying to ask questions that are not uh, that, that the respondent is uh, that uh, the respondent is not capable of responding with a simple yes or a no. So I'm trying to ask open-ended questions so that every time I ask a question, the respondent can say mm, yeah, yeah or no. They need to tell me a story, give some context to actually respond, and that's an open-ended question. And these questions are usually the ones that start with words like what or how or when or um, uh, what else? What, how, when? Um, uh, I don't know. These are the open-ended questions when it comes to if you ask someone about how they feel about something or when was the last time they did something or uh, what do they think about a certain thing. It's impossible to, for them to respond with a simple yes or no. And that's what you're trying, that's what you're trying to do. So that's when it comes to the open-ended questions. And that's the assumption that I use to actually build the research scenario for my idea, inter well, the in-depth interviews for the qualitative methods of research. So I have the time to actually get people to respond to those. But when it comes to the online questionnaires, I try to keep them, well, open-ish, but on, that, on the basis of an open question, I give some responses uh, lined up uh, as a select or as a, as a list of res potential responses that I give to the, to the person so that they can pretty easily click around and just really get to the validation as fast as possible. Because as you remember, we don't want to spend 25 minutes on an online forum. We just have three to five minutes to to accommodate the needs of a specific person. You know, they don't, they don't have the time to actually give you the 20 minutes online to actually fill out your form. So, uh, so that's that and that's what I would definitely put in front of you when it comes to how to build those research scenarios and that's one thing. The second thing is how to put those together. What kind of questions? So I take a team of five people, five researchers or five designers for that matter, five five person team around the table. I take each one of the elements of our service, of our feature, of the elements of the value proposition that we're putting in front of our customers and I sit down and using the assumptions of open-ended questions, I start to generate questions for each one of the features of our service or for each one of the elements of the value proposition. And the way that I do it, I give everybody around the table 180 seconds, so three minutes, to generate three questions individually first to each one of those features. So we start off with the first feature. Each one of us sits down for 180 seconds for three minutes, lists out three questions, open-ended questions for that specific feature. And after those three minutes are finished, we go around the table and we just put the first three questions on the wall and then we cluster questions that are similar uh, and questions that kind of create these clusters of, uh, of, of similar questions. We create those and that basically uh, forms the first version of our draft uh, research, uh, research scenario and we just put it together for each one of those features and we get you know, 20, 30, 50 questions very, very quickly put together and then we prioritize them in accordance with, well, the, the amount of time we have, how many people we have on our in-depth interviews, how many people we have for that online questionnaire and do we have any, any one of those. So that's how I break it down I hope this is useful. If you want more content like this, 
definitely reach out to us. We are on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. We are on Instagram and we're obviously on 99grade.com. So I'm really looking forward to kind of interacting uh, with you guys. If you find any value in these, definitely comment below. If there's more information that you would like, definitely reach out to us and we'd be happy to respond with vigor. So thanks very much for listening. I'll see you around.